Eamon Holmes and Isabel Webster invited royal commentator Rafe Hadel Manku onto GB News to discuss Tom Bauer's latest book on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Rafe kicked off the discussion by blasting Prince Harry for being chosen to give a speech on climate change with Eamon agreeing the move was hypocritical. Eamon began, they are both in attendance at the United Nations in New York but Prince Harry has the honor of addressing. Yes this is quite remarkable, Rafe replied. He's going to be delivering the keynote speech at the UN on climate change. If it wasn't so hot today you'd think it was April Fool's Day because quite frankly asking Prince Harry to talk about climate change is akin to the Vatican asking Boris Johnson to talk about celibacy given how large this man's carbon footprint is. Is that fair? Isabel questioned and Eamon hit back. It is fair, it's private jets everywhere. That's not just unique to him, Isabel continued. His father also uses a private jet, his brother also uses a private jet and they're lauded and celebrated for their green outlooks. Not by everybody, Rafe pointed out and the presenter added, so you'd write off the royals in general. If you're going to deliver a keynote speech on climate change you would assume that rather than virtue signaling you would address some of the issues in your own life, Rafe replied. Eamon interjected, it's a bit hypocritical. Now the Prince of Wales has made great steps in making sure their vehicles in the royal household are energy efficient, Rafe noted. But the private jet, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, will take from LA to New York is 10 times the yearly British complete person's carbon footprint. But Rafe, Eamon remarked. Could you also explain to our viewers and listeners why he would be invited to make that address? The host questioned whether it was a celebrity booking, and asked what qualifies Harry to make the speech. Rafe answered, he has a long relationship with Africa as we know and today is Nelson Mandela's birthday so the UN declares today to be International Nelson Mandela Day and every year there's a celebration of his life and looking at a cause to highlight. Of course, the idea is Prince Harry will bring star power and attention to this issue and it's the first actual public appearance of the Duke and Duchess since the Platinum Jubilee. Some people might be speculating why it's been so long since they've appeared in public. Some people might think they're licking their wounds for the last few weeks having had their attempts to play a more prominent role in the Platinum Jubilee scuppered by the Prince of Wales and Prince William.